Tonight, safer city streets continue to be top of mind for St. Louis leaders. It was only weeks ago that a jury found Daniel Riley guilty in a crash that caused Janae Edmondson to lose her legs. Five on your site's Mercedes McKay shows us why many hope new bills can be the start to much needed change. We're losing lives. We're getting people injured. It's an issue across St. Louis. Many are passionate about changing. <laughs> Members of the Board of Aldermen and concerned citizens spent their Monday discussing what can be done. You have people on the Board of Aldermen and in the administration who are taking this very seriously and recognizing that we have a responsibility to act. That was shown in the Public Infrastructure and Utility Committee meeting, where street safety was top of mind with bills focused on reckless driving, red light cameras, and an update to the city's complete streets policy. What it does is it strengthens the planning processes around our streets and making sure that they're really built with all road users in mind. That's what Alderwoman Ann Schweitzer's Board Bill 217 or the Complete Streets Bill would do. Improving the infrastructure on city streets, something co-sponsor Alderman Michael Browning believes could stop the tragedies on our roads. We talk about traffic violence as if it's a separate thing from your violence, but it's absolutely in the same bucket. Whether you're shot or you're hit by a vehicle, your life is still going to be forever changed. City leaders aren't the only ones calling for change. This bill also lines up with the mission of one local non profit that's pushing for more legislation just like this one. By and large, it is a much better bill than the ordinance that we have now. While Charles Bryson with Trailnet commends city leaders for their focus on safe streets, he believes there are some improvements that would make Board Bill 217 even better. When you talk about complete streets, you also have to talk about where people are parking and are they parking in a way that make uh, the street uh, dangerous or accessible for Pedestrians. The hope is that this necessary change would move the city's policy from reactive to proactive. At the end of the day, that's what our city needs to do is grow, and how can it grow if it's not safe for people to walk around it? Mercedes McKay, five on your side. Board Bill 217 is still open right now for public comment. The bill will be reintroduced at the beginning of the next session and will be heard in committee shortly after that.